Here's a question. How many times do you wash your hands before making, say, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, it's a question that could soon be answered by a federal judge for people who work in nursing homes. Tonight, Fox 11 is on special assignment with Robert Hornacek, explaining how Allegheny County leaders are suing the state over how inspectors are interpreting the federal food code. We all know it's important to wash your hands before you prepare food. If you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you want clean hands. That's especially true if you prepare food in a nursing home. Take Brewster Village in Grand Chute, which is owned by Outagamie County. According to a federal lawsuit filed by the county, staff at Brewster Village wash their hands nine times to make a PB&J, but the county says that's apparently not enough for the state. The contention that you need to, um, that you need to wash your hand 20 times to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich defies common sense. Tom Nelson is the Outagamie County Executive. The county is suing the State Department of Health Services over several citations that were issued against Brewster Village in 2011 and 12. One of the citations says that staff allegedly did not prepare, store, and serve food under sanitary conditions. During a routine inspection, an inspector noted that the staff did not follow proper hand hygiene when preparing and serving food. What did they find? The inspector noted several alleged violations of the federal food code, including things like staff touching freezer doors and drawer handles before touching clean utensils, staff soiling their gloves by touching control knobs and drawer handles, staff failing to wash their hands after opening a drawer, and staff not changing or washing their gloves between removing a jelly jar lid and then removing bread from a bag. According to the lawsuit, the county says under the DHS interpretation of the federal rules, staff would have to wash their hands 28 times to make a PB&J. It's just ridiculous. And, uh, you know, this has been going on for some time, and we thought that someone should stand up. Someone should say something, someone should make a stand. That's what we're doing. I wanted to speak with the administrator of Brewster Village for this story, but he would not agree to do an interview. I also wanted to show you how the staff here prepares food, but our cameras were not allowed inside. The head of the State Division of Quality Assurance, which inspects nursing homes, did talk with us. The inspection process uh, is quite intense quite time consuming, but it's, it's to assure us that the residents are safe. But Otis Woods would not answer questions directly about Brewster Village because of the lawsuit. When we come in and conduct our observations, uh, observations are our staff engaging in proper hand washing techniques while they are preparing and serving food meant for individuals who are in compromised health. And if they are not, we document what we see. And if, they, if, if as a result of that there are violations identified, we issue those violations. So. It, it's vigorous enforcement of, of requirements that are meant to keep individuals safe. And proper hand washing means washing your hands after touching anything. Well, it, it, it's, what the, what, it's what the code requires, okay? It's what the code requires. And I mean, the, the nursing homes know when staff are, are, are need to, to wash their hands. The federal food code does lay out several times employees need to wash their hands, including as often as necessary to remove soil and contamination and to prevent cross-contamination when changing tasks. The county contends that under the state's interpretations of the rules, it would take 66 percent longer to make a chef salad, 63 percent longer to prepare hot cereal, and 30 percent more time to make a sandwich. Our employees are held to really an impossible standard. Um, not only is it a standard that doesn't make any sense, um, it really is an impossible high standard. Pat Fender Stone spent 10 years on the Wisconsin Board of Aging and Long-Term Care. The bottom line <coughs> from my perspective is patient safety. She's also a former nursing home director. How many times should somebody wash their hands before making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> well, probably one time. One time if they wash, if they prop observe the proper procedure of washing your hands, not just running your hands under the faucet, but, you know, soap and water um, and friction. Probably one time, it would seem to me, would be adequate. Why 28 times? That just seems, that seems frivolous to me. To people who will accuse the Division of Quality Assurance of being too strict in their enforcement of federal codes, what do you say? I'd say our staff are properly trained, well trained to, to, to uh, in, enforcing those requirements. Um, so whether we're vigorous, for individuals in compromised care, you need to be vigorous in your enforcement because there are minimum health and safety standards that we enforce. Nelson says the added hand washing would waste time 
and wouldn't make residents any safer. The taxpayers uh, should be uh, assured that their hard-earned dollars are being spent wisely. And I don't think it's a wise use of our resources to have to compel an employee to wash their hands 15 or 20 times to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a waste of their time. It's a waste of resources. Lawyers representing the state filed this motion in federal court asking for the case to be thrown out. They argue that the state is immune from this type of lawsuit. So far, no hearings have been scheduled in the case. For Fox 11 on special assignment, I'm Robert Hornacek. Now, if you would like to read the documents filed in the lawsuit, go to our website, fox11online.com, and click on the On Assignment tab. There you're also going to find an extended interview with the head of the Division of Quality Assurance. And during that interview, he explains how and why the state inspects nursing homes.